to Yanshi and today I am back with an another video and this video and in this video we are going to learn how plastic is converted into fuel. So let's start. Hello everyone, I am Divyanshi and till now you have not subscribed my channel Divyanshi Vlogs so please subscribe it now and also press the bell icon. So hello guys, today we are going to learn how plastic is converted into fuel and this process is called plastic pyrolysis. Plastic are cheap, durable and non-reactive. That's why use of plastic is very high by humans. But plastic degrades very, very, very slowly. So it remains on the earth for many years. So that's a good idea to make useful things of plastic waste. Plastic pyrolysis. Plastic pyrolysis process is very effective process. Pyro means heat and lysis means breakdown. Theory. In pyrolysis, at any given temperature, the molecule is in vibrating stage and this is known as molecular vibration. The frequency at which molecule vibrates is proportional to temperature of molecules. Catalyst. Plastic is very hard to break down. So we have to add catalyst to it. Now fly ash and zeolite are used as catalyst in pyrolysis. Method. Now let us see how plastic is actually converted into fuel for many useful resources. There are many steps involving plastic pyrolysis process, but we are simply going to see five steps. Pretreatment, shredder, pyrolysis, condensation, and refining. Pretreatment. First, plastic waste is sent to pretreatment and then plastic shredder. And here, plastic is used to cut in smaller pieces. And these smaller pieces sent to densifier. And then pyrolysis chambers. And here, plastic is heated up to 450 degrees Celsius in the presence of catalyst and in the absence of oxygen. The plastic is converted into gaseous heat and this gas is sent to condenser and there condensation takes place. Condensation means conversion of gas into liquid form. Then it is sent to refining chamber and finally plastic waste is refined approximately 80% of oil, 15% of gas and 5% of carbon black. For our principle, as being as responsible citizen, we have to follow four R's principle, which contains reduce, reuse, recycle, and recover. Reduce. We should reduce the use of plastic. Like instead of using uh, plastic polythene bags, bags, we have to use jute bags and paper bags. Reuse. We should reuse the plastic things. Like empty plastic containers or bottles can be used in different to keep different things in home or in kitchen. Recycle. Thermoplastic can be recycled. Recycle. So th things made of, of thermoplastic should be sent to recycling industry. Polythene, bottle, these are some examples of thermoplastics. Recover. Selection of discarded items for any specific use is called recover. Thank you. Now we will talk about some drawbacks in plastic pyrolysis process. So some drawbacks are plastic pyrolysis process is energy consuming process. Pyrolysis of plastic can never be sustainable. Now we will talk about advantages of pyrolysis. It reduces water pollution. It reduces waste going into landfill and greenhouse gas emissions. It creates new jobs for low, lower income people. 